Lewisburg, North Carolina is either the happiest place on earth, or it's time again for the International Whistlers Convention. For four decades, whistlers from around the world have been puckering up and blowing into this little college town north of the state capital. The location is something of a puzzlement for Frenchman Luc Vitry. Well, I'd like to find out why. <laughs> why? <laughs> I mean, who decided it would be here? I don't know. But it's, it's fun. It's nice. The answer is that this is where founder Alan DeHart lives. The retired Lewisburg College professor says it started 39 years ago with a local folk festival. And one night uh, we had some uh, participants who wanted to whistle, and we allowed them to do so in a contest and didn't think much of, of about it to so until next year they wanted to come come back. Contest director Patricia Howell, who doesn't whistle incidentally, says there are 42 adults and about a dozen kids signed up this year, representing 20 states and nine countries as far away as Australia and Japan. Whistling is pretty universal, you know, no matter where you're from. Maybe this the clean air and friendly southern hospitality lets them whistle a little bit brighter here, I don't know. The contest has gone abroad to Japan and China, but this year it's declaring Lewisburg its permanent home. Petri oh, flew down from fearless. Boston. The engineer began whistling as a boy in military school to battle loneliness. And I just found out that making music yourself is the best way to have it always with you. Contestants will be competing in three categories. Classical, <laughs> popular, and allied arts, which can include instruments, bird calls, poetry, and other elements. Terry Dyroff of Silver Spring, Maryland, finished in the middle of the pack in his first appearance last year. This time, he's pulling out I'm all the stops. I'm adding two more things. I'm whistling, singing, uh, playing harmonica, and dancing. <laughs> he intends to win it all this year, and he's not just whistling Dixie. Alan Breed, Associated Press, Lewisburg, North Carolina.